Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. So today's video I'm going to show you something that I found that's rather cool actually. Um, how to put mods into Discord. So like, if we go to public chat here, you see like all the text is colored. I have this uh, Spotify controller thing here. And if I go to user settings, you see I have this extra section here uh, with plugins and themes. So if I enable a theme, it does this. And I can change the way that Discord looks, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that in today's video. So first thing you want to do is you want to look up bandaged.db. I think it's just bandaged.db. Yeah. Uh, or you can actually look up better Discord. You can go to betterdiscord.net, I think is what it is. I'll leave links in the description for it too. Yeah, so you click download. And you'll see Windows EXE, or unless, otherwise if you're using Mac, there's a Mac one there. Open that up. Uh, there's a new version, so click yes. Save that. Do agree. Install. And this is where you pick which version you have. Most of you, I assume, will probably have stable if you just downloaded the regular version from Discord's website. Um, otherwise, if you're using Canary or Public Test Build, you can install it to those too. Um, I've already installed mine, so I'm not going to install it again. Uh, so once you do that, it'll restart your Discord and you'll have this new section. You'll have settings, emotes, plugins, themes, etc. Um, for the settings here, I don't recommend changing too much unless you want the colored text, which is what I have here, or timestamps. Uh, the stuff here isn't really anything major. And uh, some of them don't even work because Discord is always patching it. But in order to get plugins, you can search up better Discord plugins. So there's a plugin library here. And what we can do is go ahead and search through here. For example, badges everywhere. And click what we want to do. Before we even click download is we're going to go here, settings, plugins, and there's a thing here that says open plugin folder. I'm going to click that. And we're going to go here and copy this address. And we can click download, paste that address in here, and then just save it. I already have it saved, so I'm not going to save it again. But actually I will, so I can show you. But it'll load into here. I don't think it'll load another one because I already have it. And then you'll see it, this right here, badges everywhere. So you can go ahead and tick that on. Oops. You can go ahead and tick that on. And then as you can see, we have the hype squad, the server owner, hype squad on Oreo. Uh, there's a lot of other plugins you can get too. You can also get themes. Uh, for example, Better Friends List is, one's, is one of the ones that I like if I go to Friends. Um, it sorts it by name, status, uh, mutual servers, and things like that. Um, I'll leave some links to some of the ones that I like to use. You can also have themes, so there's also a theme library. So you can scroll around here and find one that you like. Let's find one. Let's try discolored. I haven't tried this one before. So just like before, go to your settings, themes, open theme folder, copy this address, paste that in there, save it, and then we can find discolored. Okay, I don't really know which, what this does, but let's see, let's look. Oh, I think it just shows the changes the color of the Wumpus. Yeah, but there's nowhere I can find mine right now because I I have all friends and stuff. But you can also do horizontal server list, which I already have in here. I think. No, I don't. So let's go ahead and download that. Uh. Horizontal server list. So you see my servers are up, up top now. 
Uh, that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you. I just thought it was pretty cool. I figured I'd make a quick video about it. But, um, that's mostly what I got. Also, I'll let you guys know. I don't remember if I made a video about it or not, but I have a server now. It's called The Nest. Basically, like, a hangout spot for everybody to come talk and chill and whatever. We've got bots, we've got emotes, we've got all that stuff. Um, it's mainly just run by me and my girlfriend, so staff is pretty chill. Um, anyways, thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions about Better Discord or anything, uh, leave a comment. And next video, I'll make a video on how to code your own um, using CSS or JavaScript. So thanks guys for watching. Peace.